This was central bank is poised to deliver an unprecedented 10th consecutive interest rate hike Monday to try to damp stubbornly high inflation, taking borrowing costs to their highest level since 2006. A monetary tightening cycle uh, starting in April 2022, uh, when rates were close to zero, um, hasn't managed to tame inflation that's on track to exceed the government's target uh, for the five second year. Continued weakness in the local currency is among factors um, fanning price growth. The economists surveyed by Bloomberg unanimously predict uh, the Bank of Israel will raise the benchmark rate to 4.75% from 4.5%, matching the 25 basis point increase by the U.S. Federal Reserve this month. But second time, uh, a normal there uh, that he's going for uh, on the governor seeming. Uh, uh, all of that, everybody else say that he couldn't know the least 25 basis points. Uh, April inflation was nothing less than dramatic. Inflation in April was 5% from a year earlier, exceeding the government's 1 to 3% target range. On a monthly basis, it reached 0.8%, double what economists had anticipated. April's surprise price surge was driven by higher costs for housing rentals, produced in outbound travel, stoked in large part by the Jewish Passover holiday. And, uh, given that the, the shekel is down about 3.5% against the dollar this year, uh, Goldman Sachs Group Inc. said that without the support of the exchange rate, it will be much harder for the central bank to achieve its inflation objective. And Israel Discount Bank doesn't rule out a further rate hike beyond April. Uh, unlike the market, we aren't convinced that the, uh, the Bank of Israel will rush to lower interest rates, it said in its economic review, released Wednesday. Uh, but while Israeli inflation has remained elevated, 2023 economic growth forecasts have been dropping. On Tuesday, the finance ministry reduced its outlook to 2.7% growth from a previous 3%, citing global and local developments. The International Monetary Fund sees growth slowing to 2.5% from 6.5% in 2022. Continued uncertainty around the government's contentious proposal to weaken the courts presents a notable downside risk and finally adjusted their might results of tension spot and shower of government. Many Uwe's investor service recently downgraded its outlook on the country to stable from positive, citing a deterioration of Israel's governance while keeping Israel's A1 rating in place. Although S&P's global ratings didn't change, Israel's stable outlook or AA rating it forecasts the economy in 2023 will gain just 1.5 percent. Last Tuesday, the Central Bureau of Statistics reported that first quarter gross domestic product expanded a seasonally adjusted annualized 2.5 percent, decelerating sharply, but still exceeding the projections of analysts. With a global recession still seen looming, however, economists expect monetary tightening in Israel to taper off in the coming months. The economic weakness that is taking shape in Israel, and moreover uh, worldwide, is expected to deepen significantly in the coming weeks and months, uh, leading central bankers across the world uh, to halt their rate hikes, uh, ultimately forcing uh, the Bank of Israel's hand to uh, bait, uh, or said uh, in a research note, 